Hey, Matt here, back in the studio. And for today's quick build, what we're going to be working on is this problem. Let me show you. Our sockets and Allen wrenches, and we have this whole drawer of all this other bits and stuff and things and empty trays, which is great. Allen wrenches that don't belong. So we're going to try to solve this problem. What I got in mind is I'm going to sort through all these sockets because we have duplicates, which is fine. We'll, we'll keep those um, and try to put them in some sort of sorting order. That's the first step. I took and cut a piece of uh, RAM board the size of the top of this. And what I think I'm going to do, I don't know yet. What I think I'm going to do is um, draw up new trays in Fusion 360 that will accommodate this whole width so we don't have this problem. Like these two don't even fit. That doesn't even go all the way across. And then we can use multiple uh, spots for all of our duplicates. It'll fit nicely on the top. Let me show you. Here. So there we go. It'll fit nicely here, I think. I hope. Um, and I'm thinking of drawing individual trays uh, that'll be high on one end and slope down on the other end for these little guys. And uh, I will lay it out and I'll cut holes in the top and then they'll just sit through the hole and then right on, the, right on this, right on top of this. Right, that's my plan. Seven, that one goes there. And then I will leave enough. I'll offset the holes on the top so I can mark. I can take a white pen and mark all the different sizes. And we'll see how much of this it takes up. I don't I don't know. Um, we'll just see and hopefully find a way to accommodate these guys and all of these. Whoops. All of these little fellas. We got all sorts of different ones. So first step i mean look at this guy what who even it's a 10 millimeter uh i don't even know what that's called uh sc475b mm, yep so and then we got all these guys that we don't even use because we can't find them and they get lost in this drawer so my hope is to put everything out of this drawer and everything up here in nice order we'll have descending trays from the deep big sockets down to all these little guys up front and they'll all be nice and labeled and we'll be able to see and i don't know that's my hope so what i'm going to do is i'm going to switch it to time lapse and you can watch me sort through all this stuff all right let's go Okay, so I think I got everything sorted. Well, I, everything is sorted. Um, it, it doesn't really matter the order because each of these are all going to be individual trays and I can move them around as I see fit. Um, so what I have to do now is I'm going to start with the big one. Each one of these are going to be, well, eh, eh. I don't know. We might be able to make some duplicate drawings here, which would be great. Um, so I'm going to start with this 
back one. See exactly how big I have to make it because of this honking thing. Bunch in five eighths. I don't know, man. We might just. Uh, I think I think we will. So that's that that one inch and five eighths socket, three quarter drive really was messing up our mojo here. Anyway, okay. So I'm gonna get into Fusion 360. I'm gonna draw this one up. Um, yeah, I may cut it and bend it because that'll be real easy to do and then just work my way back. So if I cut it, bend it, put it on the thing and then work my way back, that'll, that'll give me a better idea of or I could just mark it out here. I don't know. Hmm. Either way. Um, yeah. That's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get in the computer, draw this up, and then uh, go from there. All right. Wish me luck. So yeah, what you saw me do, yeah, I did. And it, we used it for a little while and it worked out okay, but it wasn't great. And uh, I thought, well, let's try something else. So what I did is like, well, this, let me get you in here. Yeah. And I'll cut to the video of me making this right now. Okay, so we have uh, this bait plate all cut, cleaned up, and we made all of our dowels. You can see that's what we were doing. We were beveling the tip of these. We made all these dowels, and we're going to weld them on here. So I made this little jig. This is a two by one, and what this does is you slide the dowel in there, and you can... The little bit will stick out, it'll stick through the bottom, and then it'll be nice and perfectly straight. So, whoops. When we go to weld this, it's as simple as lay it like this. And then you put the dowel in. Hold that piece on there flat, nice and flat, and we're gonna tack it from the bottom. And then when I'll pull this off, that dowel will be left and it'll be nice and straight, perfectly straight all the way around. It'll make it go a lot quicker. So that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to put a long sleeve shirt on and uh, we're going to weld all these dowels on.
All right, we're back. And yeah, so this, you saw me make it. Um, hold on. I thought I'd explain this a little bit better. This is that jig that I used. I drilled a hole all the way through, one for the three eighths, one for the quarter inch. And that way, because it capped it on two points and I used the, the bridge port to drill it, it's drilled perfectly straight through. I could put those dowels that I made through there, hold it flush against the 14 gauge, and then weld it from the backside. And that made it perfectly perpendicular to the face of this 14 gauge. So yeah, real simple. If I were gonna do it again, or like I had a lot of these to do, I would drill this a little bit bigger and sleeve it. So I didn't have to guide the, the dowel through there. It would just simply, you know, slide through. Um, but yeah, so. Real simple way to uh, make sure your dowels or anything like that are nice and straight. So then, yeah, we have this, and I think this is gonna work out better for us. Um, it's real easy, it's more modular. We can move things around if we want to. Uh, yeah, I think it'll be good. Now, if you don't have a, a metal stuff or welder or CNC table, I thought, what was another way that I could do this? And um, if I were in the cabinet shop and I needed to do something like this, I would cut this out of a piece of plywood and then take and mark and lay out all of my holes wherever I wanted them to on the plywood. And then with a drill press, drill holes, and then you can use wood, three eighths dowels, quarter inch dowels, stick them in the plywood, glue them, uh, tack them maybe, I would probably just glue them. Um, and you could accomplish the same exact thing with uh, a little bit of wood that you can get down at your local hardware store. And to be Super cheap too. Those dowels are real cheap. And you could do the same exact thing for your application. Um, so yeah, that's it. Uh, we appreciate you guys. We appreciate you guys watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below of something that I could have done better. Or if you like the other way better, or you like, you think this is going to work, that'd be great. Um, thanks again for watching. And uh, we remember everyone, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks again.